Hello and welcome to this fifth edition of the Get Funded podcast. My name is Steve Livingston and this podcast is brought to you by IP Tax Solutions, the innovation tax specialists. In this fifth episode, we're going to look at, before you go any further, make sure you will have one of these. Before we dive into that, uh, just to let you know that this is one of a series of podcasts, very short snippets, five to seven minutes, aimed at giving you the sort of information you need if you're a founder, entrepreneur, CEO, looking to raise funding under one of the UK government tax incentives, being the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme or the Enterprise Investment Scheme. It's not a substitute for specific professional advice, so if your facts are complex or you need some specific help, I do suggest you reach out um, and get that help. Uh, But it should give you enough to certainly uh, move forward if your facts are a little more straightforward or certainly arm with the questions uh, you may uh, need to be able to ask and also get some more help. Uh, So if we dive straight into this... um, We mentioned in a previous podcast that in order to uh, issue shares under CDIS or under EIS, you must receive cash and then issue the shares. It can't be a loan um, or a transfer of shares. It's got to be a fresh issue of shares in return for a receipt of cash. Now, the key here about you must have one of these is you've got to have a company bank account. Uh, Otherwise, how can you as a company receive the cash and prove that you've received the cash in return for that issue of shares? Um, So absolutely crucial that you get a company bank account in place before you go any further on this. Uh, It's something that a lot of companies get caught out on, obviously particularly startups for the CE Enterprise Investment Scheme. So the timing is crucial here. You've got to form the company, then set up the bank account and then issue the shares. Um, So once you've got the bank account in place, it could take a few weeks, then at least you know you can then prove that cash comes in, shares are issued, I did did the same day, then there can be no dispute over what that cash is for. Um, so bank account absolutely crucial while we're on the subject of receiving the cash uh, the limit that you can receive for seed enterprise investment scheme the the maximum amount the company can raise under seed enterprise investment scheme is currently £150,000 and that's not an annual limit that is it uh, under seed so um, for a lot of companies that's not a great deal but hopefully it's enough to get to your first milestone and at least allow investors to sort of get hold of that, the, the, the tax benefits that are attributed to uh, SEIS. So £150,000 is the limit. You can follow on with EIS thereafter, but it's got to be in that order. So you can raise money under seed, EIS, and then EIS. You couldn't, for example, have received money under EIS and then issue shares under CDIS. Got to be seed, EIS, and then EIS. There are some uh, rules around the timing of follow-on from EIS to to CDIS. We're not going to cover that on this particular episode because the rules have changed. Uh, We will cover that on a separate episode because there's a few things to sort of jump through on that particular one. So those are the key messages for this. Uh, Make sure you have a company bank account before you proceed. And the second point is you have a £150,000 limit under CDIS. We will cover the limits under EIS in a separate episode. Okay, so if you want to reach out to us for further assistance, you can contact us at IP Tax Solutions. We are the Innovation Tax Specialists. Uh, We deal with, obviously, CDIS and EIS. Uh, we also deal with R&D tax credits with specialists in this particular sector um, and you will probably find that you may well be using your EIS or CDIS monies to develop some sort of new technology or you may be involved in some sort of med tech or science. Uh, anything that you're looking to resolve technical uncertainties that could be potential for you to gain potentially a third of the cash back under R&D so you can kind of recycle the cash using these reliefs together uh, and also the patent box. Uh, is another area where we do some work. So it's kind of from formation through to development, R&D tax credits, and then commercialization with the patent box are the areas in which we can help. Uh, you can obviously find us at our website, iptaxsolutions.co.uk, and uh, our email address, info at iptaxsolutions.co.uk. We also have a blog at businessn2k.com. Uh, we'll have future episodes there and also um, other podcasts as well. But for the Get Funded podcast, you can find it there. You can also find it on iTunes um, if you can subscribe there. And if you could, ideally leave a rating. That'd be much appreciated as it then allows it to uh, more readily get found, hopefully by other entrepreneurs and founders as well who may be looking for this information. Uh, Obviously, you can give us a call on 0161 961 0096. But that wraps up this particular episode. I hope you found that useful. My name is Steve Livingston. Thanks for listening.